Hello there! This is DBT, and these are the brooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Forza Horizon 5. And today, I'm trying out the Bram BT62. I totally didn't have to look at the windshield to check the number. What a beautiful car this is. And there's a reason for me to be driving this in this game. And that really has to do just with the fact that this car was recently announced to be added into Asphalt 8. And you know that I absolutely love that game. And I thought, you know what, I want to drive this car in a more quote-unquote realistic scenario. So I decided to bring it here. And don't mind me while I look at this car spinning right over there. Look at it. It's so damn beautiful. I'm glad that this car is being added into Asphalt 8. I don't want to talk too much about that game or Asphalt 9, but hey. And I said that I don't want to talk too much about those games, but I want to really mention it real quick over here. The fact that over here, this car, by the way, I'm driving it at stock as it stands this is the stock performance and oh boy is it good performance because again track car and all of that stuff and uh, like i said even at stock the rank is incredibly high surprisingly high i would say so close to the top of the entirety of the ranks in this game so i, I thought that was curious because in asphalt 9 they added this car into class c which would make it the second to worst um class in the entire game so even though it's a good game in that class, it's still a relatively low class car overall. I'm halfway through the race and I still have not managed to catch up to the first and second place. I'm about to pass the third place, but I really don't think... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think... Did I hit it? Did I hit it? I think I did hit. Okay, good. Um, I'm not sure that I've managed to pass or get, get to the second and first place, but I shall try. And just in case you're wondering... This, uh, I'm racing it in the, I believe the second or third to highest difficulty in the game. I'm not good enough to go at the absolute highest, which is the quote-unquote unbeatable difficulty, but I think I'm at one before or two before that. So, it's still a considerably high, considerably high difficulty, which obviously for the pro players this is nothing, but for me, a noob, oh Jesus Christ, oh come on, oh that little mistake just cost me my third place, can I, can I get it back? I doubt it, but come on. Fourth place, you know what? I'll live with fourth place, it's fine. But you know what I'm curious? Can we download a tune for this thing? Hmm. All right, so let's find a tune for this car. Now, like I said, you can see over here on the left side where it says previous, this is the current uh, rank that the car has at 974. Like I said, it's very high. It's only, what, 20 something ranks before it reaches the top of this class. And I'm going to be looking for cars in classes too, because the next class, which is class X, gets a little bit too crazy. And nah, let's just go for S2. And while we're here, why don't we take a look at the official colors for the car? Well, it only has two options. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so this is the default one with a little bit of livery, some details and whatnot. And then there's this gray one with red, orangey accent, which don't get me wrong, it definitely looks very cool, but I think this is the better looking one. However, that's not enough for me. Let me check if I can find some cool liveries made by someone else. Now, how's this for a livery? Check this out. Damn. Very, very racing-like with the sponsors and whatnot. I actually do like the contrast of the white and the black, so color me impressed. The engine sound, I think it changed. I'm not exactly sure if it's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, did you see that touch? Um, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I didn't pay enough attention, but still, it sounds pretty cool, so I'm happy with it. Now, this circuit is a little bit tighter than the previous one that I did, so I really am going to check out, or rather find out how good or bad is the handling for this car. In theory, it increased, but the fact that the car is also faster makes it so that, well, yeah, in theory, the handling is higher, but, oh man, yeah, this feels slidey. Instantly, this feels slidey. It, worth mentioning that this is completely dry ground, and this feels slidey, but hey, I'm still willing to give it a shot. It's faster, that's for sure. Oh, okay, so, oh, God. It is kind of sensitive as you take the turn. Oh, boy. But it just doesn't have the grip. Either that or I'm, I'm doing it way too fast, like going on the on these turns way too fast because I'm struggling for grip. One full lap later. I'm literally at the last lap and I still haven't... Well, I did get that sixth place, but then I lost it because my car, my car kept on sliding. I think it's a little bit of a combination of how hard it wants to suddenly steer and how it doesn't manage to keep the grip. So I'm not super happy about it. So how about we try a different tune? Because, yeah, this one, in spite of the higher rank and whatnot, it really ah, isn't doing it for me. 
Well, not only did I find a new tune, I also got a new livery, grey with some orange tones. I really like this one too. Now, this tune that I downloaded, it's also very much about grip, but this is a peculiar one because it has a higher um, handling thanks to a lower top speed. So the, lower, the, the top speed should be around the same that it had at stock, but with more emphasis on the handling, this probably should make the car even better at the corners. And right away, I can tell you that the first corner felt, felt really, really good. You can tell that the car is not really sliding. Um, again, it's a bit of a combination, obviously. The faster your car goes, the worse or the less effect or less effective rather your handling is gonna be. So that kind of makes sense. But man, this absolutely feels way grippier. Way, way, way grippier. I'm not sliding my car left and right. I'm testing how far I can push the car. And I was able to take the fourth place very convincingly, but still the, the other guys on first, second, and third place are way ahead of me, so I I don't think that I'll be able to catch up to them, especially if I keep hitting walls like that. But look at this. Man, the grip on this thing. See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having to let go of the acceleration yet. Maybe I can overtake the third place. I feel like I can overtake that one. Oh, it's also a Bram, I just realized. By the way, the very first time that I saw the Bram, I thought those, those, uh, those lights at the rear, at the back, Lambo-like, maybe? That kind of looks like a Y? Kind of Centenario-ish? Kind of... I don't know. You know? <laughs> and there's no way I wasn't gonna test a track car in the Horizon Mexico circuit, which is really like a racetrack in here. So, of course, we gotta test it out, see what we can do over here. But yeah, I don't know. I, it's kind of funny because I really never knew about this, this company. And by the way, I probably am mispronouncing the name of this company. Bram? Brabham? Bram? I don't know, I've heard it pronounced in a million different ways, so I have no idea which one is the correct. I'm doing my best over here, right? Don't judge me. But I really didn't know about this brand at all. It was actually Asphalt Mine, I believe, that made me aware of this car, um, the brand and this car. And recently I watched some of the Goodwood Festival of Speed, and I saw over there that in previous years, I think even in this year, there was there were some other Brabham, Brabham cars, racing cars, and I'm like, oh wow, so this company is really about the race cars, huh? But look at that, I am absolutely getting close to this dude. I'm gonna pass you anytime now. What car is that? Is that a Ferrari? That looks like a Ferrari to me. I hope it's not a Ferrari. It's a Ferrari, I can see the horse. God damn it. Well, fear not, Mr. Ferrari. I'm gonna pass you uh, at some point. I promise. But seriously, this car is absolutely beautiful. I was so sad that in Asphalt 9 I could not unlock it in the global version. Then on the Switch version, I was able to get it and pretty much max it out. And now that it's come to Asphalt 8, oh man, oh man, am I hyped about it. I really want to get that car. And there's a Ferrari, goodbye. One more lap and we're done. Yeah, what did I say? Race car, race track. What more could you ask for? Absolutely convincing first place. Let's go! Look at it. So damn beautiful. So there you have it. This is the Bram BT62. What a beautiful car, and I was definitely hyped about it being added into Asphalt 8, so I wanted to make a video on it in this game, because A, this game has a car, and B, I need more reasons to make videos on this game. Speaking of which, if you want to see any particular car being played in this game, so long as the game has it, why don't you let me know in the comments, and I'll look into making a video about it. It can be a hypercar, it can be a common car, whatever it is, I'll see if I can make a video on it, and we'll down download some tunes and test it out, because why not? The beauty about this game is not only the beauty of the map itself, even if it's a little boring sometimes, but also to listen to the brooms and see all of that. So let me know in the comments, but that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye. Mm,